Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am talking about six designer brands that I would purchase a luxury handbag from. These are designer brands that I don't currently own a luxury handbag from, or do I? Quick disclaimer, this video was created before any new purchases were made. Additionally, some of these brands I do own a few items from. It could be a pair of shoes, sunglasses, or a Twilly, but not these designer handbags. So without further ado, let's get to it. Lueve is certainly a hot luxury brand for 2023. There have been some beautiful pieces that have come out for the summer, but there's even more coming out this fall and winter. The bag that really has piqued my interest is actually the puzzle bag, but specifically in a neutral color block pattern that is set to come out later, I believe in fall. I actually contacted Lueve after seeing this bag show up in my feed one day. I thought it was current, couldn't find it, so I was like, hey, let me just give them a call and find out and sure enough this bag is coming out soon another bag by Loewe that I also think is great is their crossbody bag this is one that I've looked at in person specifically in the sand color I think the guitar strap on it is absolutely gorgeous I do think this one lends itself more towards the spring and summer months but it is a beautiful bag no doubt that is definitely on my radar with a potential for making its way into the wardrobe Next up would be Bottega Veneta, and that would be the Small Jody bag. The Small Jody bag is one that I have looked at time and time again, and it's one that I just have not been able to pull the trigger yet. However, it is a bag that I believe is absolutely gorgeous. It's buttery soft with its leather, and I just think the design overall is really pretty. I do think it lends itself a little bit more towards a boho vibe, and that might be why I just really haven't added it yet, but it's certainly one that I think, you know, would add a really nice touch to any outfit, specifically because there are so many different color options, but I think this bag is very well made and it's certainly very luxurious and would be beautiful within any luxury handbag collection. By the way, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and I share insight and inspiration for all things Lux, especially when it comes to handbags and shoes. So if you too have a love for Lux, I hope you will consider subscribing make sure to like this video and turn on notifications so you do not miss any future videos as well next up would be Dior and if you are a current subscriber of mine welcome back hope you guys are doing well this bag will be of no surprise to any of you that would be the Lady Dior this is most definitely a bag that I will add to my collection at some point the Lady Dior is timeless, it's chic, she's so elevated all by herself, but she also has a little bit of an edge with the metal hardware and the strap to be worn crossbody or on the shoulder. I just think that this is a bag that if you are a luxury handbag collector, without a doubt, this is a bag that should be in all of our collections. Another Dior favorite that I would consider adding would be the saddlebag. Yes, some say this bag looks like or resembles a kidney. If you've never thought that before, you probably will now, and I'm sorry that I just shattered the glass on that one, but I don't really care. It doesn't make any difference to me, and it shouldn't to you either, especially if you love a bag. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what I think or anyone else on social media for that matter. If you love a bag, you go for it. And this is one that I have always been attracted to because I just feel like it is just so fashionable. I feel like it elevates anything that you put on, and I just think it's really cool and really chic. It probably holds, you know, next to little of anything, but it doesn't really matter. It looks cool, right? So if we love it, even if it only holds a lipstick, our keys, and a card case, so be it, right? I wanna give a special shout out to Corinne. She actually tagged me for this video, and Corinne, thank you so much for doing so. I'll make sure to link her channel down below for you guys. She has a beautiful handbag collection and certainly some really great inspiration as well, so make sure to check her videos and check her channel out next after watching this video. Benedetta Bruzicis? 
uh, again I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but this is a brand that you don't really see much you don't really hear a lot about but I saw a clutch actually in a YouTube video probably a couple of years back and it's been one that I've just kind of had on my wish list, kind of setting it off to the side because it's very, very different and it is unlike anything, especially in my collection. And I think that that's probably why I'm drawn to it. I think it would be a really neat and really edgy and really cool bag to, you know, carry for a date night out. It's definitely one that it doesn't break the bank, but it's one that you're going to see sitting on the shelf probably a little bit more than some others because you're not gonna carry it all the time. But it's a really neat one, a really cool kind of chic bag that I think would be really neat to add to the collection. I truly, given my style and my lifestyle, I'm shocked that I do not own a bag from yet and that would be Prada. Prada is one of those brands that I feel like for a while was super hot. I remember, you know, back in the probably, I guess, 90s or 2000s before, right before I ever got into like the luxury world, if you will, Prada was kind of one of those buzzwords for a luxury brand. You kind of saw it, especially with like, you know, some of the 90s bags that have now made their way back around. And that's what's really drawn me into this brand. And I feel like Prada is I don't wanna say making a comeback. Prada has always been Prada, but I feel like it's becoming more prevalent again, if that makes sense. Especially for me, I think I would add the re-edition. Most popular has probably been the nylon, the re-edition nylon. I would add the re-edition in leather, just because I think that Safiano leather is really durable and it's gonna last a really long time. I've seen it in white, but also the black, which, duh, I love my black, I can't deny that. And the black and gold together in this bag, mm, chef's kiss, I think it is gorgeous. But the white's awesome too, so I don't know. I think it would be a toss up with either one of those. I'm hoping to go and see this bag actually in person, uh, hopefully in the next month or so. So I will keep you guys posted on this one. Another Prada bag that I think would be awesome to add that's really edgy again, but also very Prada, if you will, and that is their quilted puffer bag. I think there's a couple of different options. I think I even talked about this in some of the previous videos I had back during the winter, but the quilted kind of puffer style, whether it's in a shoulder or a little tote, I think would be awesome going into the winter months so I don't know maybe Prada is, Prada is going to make its way into the luxury collection as well so we'll have to stay tuned for that last but not least and this is not going to shock anyone that is a current subscriber as well and that would be Chanel Chanel is a brand that yes I own some sunglasses from and maybe a couple of other things like here and there small like my brooch but I do not own any Chanel handbags I wish I could go back in time and purchase Chanel bags before the huge price increases. And yes, the price increases are insane, but they are what they are. And if you are in this luxury world and you love it bad enough, then you're going to find a way to allow it to make its way into your wardrobe. And so there are a few bags from Chanel that I would love to add at some point to my collection potentially. The Chanel 19 is one of those because I think it's chic and it's also edgy at the same time. And the classic flap. Now, I don't see myself ever being a person who goes crazy with Chanel. I don't know, I am learning on this luxury journey of my own to never say never about anything because I have already made some mistakes, I've already changed my mind on some things. I'll be sharing that in some future videos as well, so make sure to hit the notification bell so you do not miss anything that is coming your way. The classic flap and the uh, Chanel 19 are bags that you just can't go wrong with because it doesn't matter you know, how old you are, you can rock a Chanel bag and you can rock it with any outfit that you are going to put together. Well friends, I hope you've enjoyed this and until next time, live your lux and I'll see you in the next video.